it's a dark night. There could be a uh, killer lurking in the shadows. If that's the case with this, today's Instead story. It features drinking, drugs, murders, and shooting. Welcome to the Dark Wars. Wait, I don't want to look at that watch. Hey, I'm, you know, the police chief. I got some bad news. My therapist was murdered. How did you know? Lucky guess. Got something for you. Uh, okay. So this new crook? Yes. We don't know his name, but he goes by Sailor Man. Name sound familiar? Uh, He's uh, wanted criminal in all throughout America and about twelve other and about twelve other countries. Uh, does he have any partners? He's got loads supporters? of partners. He's been working with. Uh, he's been working with terrorists. He's been working with Russia, and he's been working with some unknown co uh, company here in America. But we have leads that it's some company by the name of the Great uh, Incorporation. Okay. Well, we'll meet you in your evidence room, and I'll go and I'll start researching. Yes, follow me. Hey, hey. Yes. Do you got anything for me? It's been three days. No, sorry. I should have been studying without any sleep. It's been three days, and you don't even have some sort of lead. I've been. I haven't slept in three days. What do you want from me? I've been studying. I've been researching nonstop. Why don't you use the watch? Ugh. Oh, what the heck, man? You're just like a superhero. Using your powers like some sort of god. I'm not a superhero. Ugh. Gave me a bloody nose, a hole. Uh, you don't talk about the watch, and I'm not like those super freaks. How are you gonna solve the case without the watch? I'll find a way. I guess I, I guess I have to, uh. Go to the public domain since most of Sayman's records are mis are, uh, are uh, gone. Huh, so this is an old 50s movie. Huh, from the washed up actor uh, Pigeon Man or Rager Man or whatever the frick his name is. Well, uh, maybe it'll help me for evidence. And now it says Pigeon Man Incorporated. And now it says Sam Man Incorporated. Wait! That's why Sam Man's so obsessed with Pigeon Man. Because they used to be old partners. And, and they separated because Sam Man wanted to him. He's made that a West Up actor. And the reason there's no, not many records of him is because the uh, company, the, the secret company that uh, hired him, got rid of all the evidence. Except for this, this public domain movie. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, uh, and with help with the FBI, we can go find the actor. And that'll lead us to say, oh, man, gotta go. Guys, by the way, I, by the way, if anything goes wrong, I'll warn you. Yes, boss. Man, uh, hopefully this guy isn't insane. That's happened to a lot of actors in Hollywood. That's it. My oh, car in Hollywood is over. I'm about to be drunk in a second. I'll freeze whenever I've had my 
freaking drink. Are you the are you the old actor regular man? What's it to you? Uh, we need you for evidence. For what? Well, to wear out a sailor man, your old partner. Sailor man. I haven't heard that name in years ever since he became insane. They blamed me for it. They said that my career was over. They said that I was the one that pressured him, made him insane, and made him, made him lose all sense of reality. <sighs> they blamed me for it. They blamed me for everything. <sighs> Do they know who I was? <sighs> I was on TV screens everywhere. Oh man, you're really good at putting that, that lead in back, in, like uh, off and back on so you can drink. <sighs> look, look, we're here to help. So if you can maybe help us out by giving us the evidence, then we'll maybe uh, call your. We can maybe call your name. <coughs> Alrighty, just hold me up. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> I just, I, I just don't feel like I can go on. I'm so old. My acting career is over, and I, I need a drink right now. Uh, no, if you drinking more, then you'll die of po alcohol poisoning. <coughs> oh, oh. <coughs> Do you need a minute? No, I'm good. Okay. Well, my first question is, uh, what dro what drove Sam insane? <sighs> it was after. Uh, it was after for a while. They wanted, uh, uh, they, uh, it was after a while. They wanted a real pigeon man. They wanted a real superhero. That's when they started testing. <sighs> pretty soon, uh, pretty soon uh, they had listed me in. They wanted me to be the new face of superhero super uh superheroes they tested on me for weeks and so finally whenever i snap i turn into some freak of nature bird <sighs> so so the old movies were just special effects yes the new mo uh my very last movie was when uh was when i was really a pigeon and people did not like that movie yeah. sailor man on the other hand they tried to test on him he wouldn't do it. They were torturing him. He was on the he was on the uh, the verge of death. They made him drink random th uh, things that ta that could have killed him. Literally, he they put him in isolation for months. Uh, uh, uh. So, uh, they put him in isolation for literal months. It was not pretty. And that's what drove him insane? Yeah. And he was, was kept inside. He was tortured. And, and he blamed me for all of this. He said I was the one that got him into the mess and I didn't. <sighs> then he tried to kill me. Wait. What's, what? what uh, is that the, wait, I thought he... I thought I, you were like a favorite person or something. He's done multiple videos where he, where he disguised himself stopped praising you. What's that about? <sighs> I don't know. I guess he's just... Something that they did to him in there. Something that they did threw him off. And literally, we were filming another uh, scene for this movie when he flipped out, and that was the day he tried to kill me. Wait. That movie never made it to the theaters because of it. Wait, so... So... And I'm assuming the only way you could cope with the way you dealt with was alcohol? At first, I... At first, I... Uh... Uh, I tried getting into a relationship. I tried, you know, settling down, having a family. You know, living a normal human life. But that wasn't even working. Yeah. My wife left. My my wife left me out, uh, after 16 years. And the only way I knew what to do next was alcohol. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I still have flashbacks of... Of Sailor Man with the gun and the knife <sighs> trying to kill me, so you're but since I was uh, but since I was pigeon my pigeon self at the time, I was able to survive his attacks. But 
they had to contain him. They put him in a mental asylum, and then uh, word is that he escaped and went to Taiwan. Yeah, it's... And he murdered a couple people there, and now, from what it seems like, he's back here. Oh, man, it sucks how they sent him to one of those, like, pop psychologists. Yeah. yeah. There's there's no fixing Sailor Man. Uh, well, uh, uh, what do you, uh, well, I'm assuming you haven't been in, been Pig Man in years? No. Nah. Ever since the incident, you know, ever since the incident, every time I try to become Pigeon Man, Pigeon Man will just snap right back. What do you say? Because I can't control myself as Pigeon Man. As this Pigeon Man, he controls himself, and since he has such horrible flashbacks, he doesn't even want to be himself. Would, but would you say you can hear his voices? I can hear his voices in my head. I can hear him whispering. I can hear all his whispers. I can hear his cries. Every time he cries, I cry. Every feeling he has, I have. Even though we're not the same person, I feel his feelings. Huh. Calm down. Look, look. I know life hasn't exactly been kind to you, but look. look I know uh, that we can help you out as long as you give us the evidence we need, and uh, we can help you out, and you can, you can, uh. You can have a happy life again. Look. You think so? Yes. Look. Uh, look. Just because you're not an actor and life hasn't exactly been kind to you doesn't mean you should give up. I wouldn't exactly know where Sailor Man is. But... Uh, wait. That's... But I would know... But I know exactly where they tested on us. I know the company name. The Great Incorporation. Wait. Wait, and that, and the guy who runs it is named the Great Scientist, right? Yeah, he's the one that invent. he was the, uh, he was the one that, uh, uh, helped to, uh, that helped to invent the NASCAR. Wait, wait, it, wait, and he, and I remember, uh, reading a file about him and how he went insane and started, uh, doing torture experiments on people. Yeah. Do you think that's what he did to you two? That's exactly what he did. He didn't exactly torture on me. He kind of just tested on me for science purposes. But after I was done, they called up Sailor Man to start doing testing on him. And that was the day uh, the great scientist kind of went insane. Because as he was doing this, he saw the amount of money he was making. And he wasn't making exactly a lot with these testings. And he started going insane, wanting more and more money. He started even testing on the cameraman. The literal cameraman that doesn't even have, uh, which his only purpose is to record. They started testing on him. He has two extra fingers now. Jesus Christ. Man, but uh, but I, I got an idea. Uh, maybe we could go back to where you guys were first tortured. And, and there should be some remembrance there. And but, uh, and if uh, Sam is not there, then uh, then we'll uh, lure him out with you. And don't worry, the FBI is on our side, so we so he we should can do be this. there. If I know Sam, man, he he he's gonna be there, uh, reminiscing his past, thinking about all the horrible things he did to them and how he's gonna get uh get back at them. It's gonna be a dark case, but uh. But with your help, we can do this, okay? Anyway, before we get to that, uh, you said you had a family. Does that mean you have children? I had one. He was my son. What was his name? His name was not so regular. Huh. He was my son. And... He was the best son I had, and but they uh but they imprisoned both of us. They tested on my son first, and then that's when I saw him. He was a pigeon. They changed him, and and I was upset. And then they took him to a facility in Russia. But a couple of days later. I got a note from the warden after they were testing on me saying that my son had escaped 
and they couldn't really figure out his whereabouts. But once I, but once I got out, my wife was furious. That's why she left me. A day later, my a couple of days later, my wife couldn't handle the guilt of not having her son, so she jumped off a cliff, and now she's dead. A family torn in pieces, all because of a company imprisoning us. I tried to call the police. The police didn't do anything. All they said was, we'll look into this. I showed them. I literally showed them that I was a pigeon. And they were and they were like, I'm sorry, but there's not much we can do about this. What department did you go to? Every department. Huh, yes. And I wish there were more departments that were competent besides us. And we're, You're the... and we're, and we're a new team. Huh. But, but uh, luckily we're here now, okay? Yeah, we should probably go while we still can. Sailor Man's out there somewhere. And on the looks of it, he's pro- uh, he's, uh, if, uh, after he goes there, he's probably gonna come here. He probably knows my loca- my exact location if he's out, and is probably gonna try to kill me again. And if he doesn't, he'll probably do. He'll probably uh, uh upload a video. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Yeah. So you want to see your son, huh? More than anything in the world. Well, we found him. Good son, not so regular. Hey. What the heck? Why? Why? Why did you leave me behind? You could have found me in Russia. Literally, they had me at gunpoint. If I moved a single inch, they would have shot. You could have turned into me and walked on foot. I could have. <laughs> but <sighs> Pigeon Man had other plans. <sighs> even, even if I tried to escape, they would have just found me. Where could I have gone? I didn't know where in Russia you were! Pigeon Man has super speed. <laughs> but even then, what's that gonna do? Find me! <laughs> dude, I want you, dude! You don't understand this for! <laughs> I do! I do understand! I understand that form very clearly! Cause you know why? Why? <laughs> Because I can feel its thoughts. I can feel him. And guess what else? Because of your disappearance, your mother died. You couldn't have come home after you escaped. No, I was in hiding. They would have killed me. Well, yeah, and they would have killed me if I escaped. Let's not talk about it. Okay, since regular man, uh, since you don't look like Pigeon Man, let's go with Dark Bird. And plus, you know, you people aren't good anyway. What do you mean by your people? Well, uh, I'm hoping you have a bad memory, but, uh, my, uh, sister, uh, was working with a stunt woman on, uh, on Pigeon Man's movie. And Pigeon Man didn't catch her, and she died. Well, I'm sorry that happened to you, but not all superheroes like me and my dad are bad just because that one thing happened to you. And then my whole brother died. Uh, and had a house fire for another Pigeon Man movie. And, uh, uh... And this happened after because my brother wanted to prove to me that I'm not all superheroes. And they did it practically, which means they set the house on fire and they couldn't get my Why that happened to your family, but that does not mean we're bad. You know, we, you know, we're, we're the good guys, you know. And just try to remember that and don't let these personal things it's not a personal thing. Superheroes are like that. For example, Sailor Man, he had the same powers as you, and you didn't suffer family tr- uh, You didn't- you didn't have to deal with superhero content and killing your 
family members. Only bad people doing bad things. You didn't have to deal with what I had to deal with. You're complaining about family tragedies. Me and my dad were tortured for years. And I just found out when mom's dead. And I haven't seen my family in years. And I don't want to go here to anyone. It was just me by myself. I want to have friends. <sighs> we're here. Luckily this truck ride wasn't that too long. Now anyway. Okay, so Dartbird, what you're gonna do is that that, uh, that we're gonna introduce you on TV and you're, we're gonna introduce you at the new Pismet. And that will get Tame Man upset and we'll bore him out with your dad. Uh, uh, does, does that point make sense? Uh, yeah, I've been practicing my lines. But uh, yeah, also sorry if the, the rich people might be uh, rude. Or they're kind of greedy. Oh, uh, uh, best margarita I've had all day. Oh, uh, oh, Her Harry the first. Nice to see you. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. I'm a uh, part of the. You know, I got you know my riches. You know, from you know being a time traveler and all. Oh, uh, do you, do you want me to get you another margarita? Oh no, it it's nothing at all. Oh, by the way, what is this? Uh, Something yeah. about some new Pigeon Man. I haven't seen Pigeon Man since I was a small boy. Well, that's why we're uh, getting the most special people in the world. Uh, man, you're probably the nicest, no, uh, no offense to your people, but you're like probably the nicest rich person I've ever met. <laughs> well, I, yeah, well, I, it runs through our version of the Harry's. So oh, I just said too much, so uh, I gotta go. Hello, everyone. I'm glad you can come to the party. Uh, sorry for that one guy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your time with that margarita. But anyway, you might be wondering what, what we're doing here today. We're going to introduce someone you might know from your past, but you do not remember. It is the new Pigeon Man! Yo, it's that man I used to watch on TV! Yo, I remember him when I was a wee lad! Hi, thank you, Spencer! Hello, everyone. You might remember my father. But I am the new Pigeon Man. And I'm happy to be here. Ah, uh, uh, it's fun to uh, relive my childhood. Does anybody hear that ticking sound? It sounds like some sort of bomb. Oh, uh, no, it's not. Uh, that's just uh, that's just bugs. I'm sure you haven't interacted with them yet. Uh, anyway, any questions? I'm sure you haven't interacted with them yet. Uh, anyway, any questions? We'll be back after these messages. Uh to see more of the new Pigeon Man. I have a question. Where's actual Pigeon Man? I am Gotti Peck the... <laughs> Finally, we'll <laughs> let him! <laughs> He's being replaced! Uh, I'll kill him. But first, I have to get dressed. Peter Man. <laughs> I'm back, baby. a great party. I haven't been to a good one in years, especially seeing an old celebrity like that just return. It's so great. <sighs> Even that mask looks authentic. Whenever I watch, uh, whenever I, I watched a movie, uh, a Pigeon Man movie, you could tell that was a mask, but this one, it looks super real. Hello, everyone. And Look on the TV! What the heck? There's a new guy in town! You already know my name. It is quite popular for all the evil doings I've been doing. But the thing is, I haven't been doing them. Not until you announced the foul thing. That is the new Pigeon Man! Wait a minute, isn't that the old director, Sailor Man, who directed all the Pigeon Nuts? 
I remember seeing his uh, face on every magazine and uh, everywhere. He literally, he literally was in an ad for Walt Disneyland. Shut up. Shut up! Now, wait a minute, how can he hear us? Let's just say I've been watching more of them from the news! I am camera there, and I will kill you, new major man! <laughs> And I will what? No, everyone, don't go in a panic. Boom. No, oh, what the heck? Get in, get in. Get out of the way, freak. You get out Already. of the way. Okay. Yeah. Are You're you Detective Spencer, right? Yeah. Everybody is safe and accounted for. Okay. I'm not scared. Oh, wait, where's Pigeon Man? Oh, crap. I don't remember seeing this in the future. Pigeon Man was here in the... Oh, uh, when I saw this in the future, something's up. I think I have to do something with the guy on the TV. Uh, I but how would he know the future? Dude, what is with the time stuff? I don't know. I told you I'm a time traveler. Dude, time travel, you can't do it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you believe what you believe. Okay. But uh, anyway, you stay here. Make sure no one leaves. I have to. I have to do. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you. Okay. Uh, I'll. I'll, I'll get. Uh, I'll get darker. Man, this. Or new pigeon. Say, man, that. Who's the phony wearing the pigeon mask? Yeah. This is. This is this absolutely is my skin, dude. Tape. Also, I don't think this tape is indestructible, like you just said. Um. Hey, now where are you? Where's my dad? Now where, where are any dad? of us really? Stop with the uh, stop with the philosophical bullcrap. Now where's my dad? Huh. And also, where are you? Are you hiding, you coward? <coughs> <coughs> Call me a coward! You're taking the place of your father! <laughs> it was a fake out! I'm just a henchman! I'm not even wearing the hat! <laughs> I think I hear somebody coming down the hall to help me. No, it's the closet. Dude. What the heck? Uh, yeah. Sa Sailor Man. Hi. It's good to see you, even though uh, you're good. Being bruised. It feels great. <sighs> and also, I I do, uh, that's how I escape from from my torture. So you have to. You have the ability of teleportation? No, it's just there's the do door right there that painted to look like the wall. Oh. Aren't I brilliant? Aren't I? <laughs> During your time, when we made movies together, you were a brilliant man. I can no longer say that. <laughs> That's just fine. That's just fine. You know, you don't need to pick up my gun. You're being irrational here. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Why do you think I did all of this, huh? I made some deal with the random guy that owns the Great Incorporation. I did nothing. He, he's just, he's just too, 
He's just a tool to me. And from what I've heard, I've heard rumors that you've been working with them. Uh, you know, I don't think you get what my real goal is in this whole thing. Yeah, it is just to, to just to have a dog. That is chaos, and I throw it throughout the city, and then the city can be free. You think the city will be free with chaos? Yes, it's my most brilliant plan. Is that another one of your funny jokes? You're hilarious. The only thing is, I'm laughing at you. <laughs> You're hilarious. You only got part of my powers. I could have broken out that door myself, but I knew you were gonna show up, and I knew I could, I could at least try, wait. try to change you. Wait, I, wait. Oh, that's actually why I want. Uh, that's why I wanted you back because I wanted to thank you for for giving me, just for giving me my powers that I do to create the most beautiful thing of all. A chaos! A slighter bit of human strength. I have super speed, super sound, and not only I can fly. Of course, I don't tend to turn into Pidgey Man a lot because Pidgey Man has social anxiety and and can only, and never likes to come out. Boring. Anyway, I just wanted to thank you, and I actually I actually uh, plan to take uh, your strength and all your power so I can become the most powerful man. They cause chaos! Nobody gives a rat's a-hole! Sorry, I can't hear you! Get your ears checked, freaking grandpa! You know what's funny? You're older than me! <laughs> God, I wanna shoot you! I might be the size of a baby, but I got more maturity than you ever did in the movie business. You just don't get it. If I was mature, then I wouldn't be wearing a joker suit. You used to tell me time is of the essence. Does that even mean anything to you? That's what you told me every day. Was time was of the essence. I think you're, I think you're talking to the wrong man. I'm not the one with the time obsession. It's Harry. Who the heck is Harry? The rich guy at the party. But uh anyway, just party keeper. But but anyway, I should probably get to the extracting. Because you're just still wasting my time. I don't think that's gonna happen. Why do you think that? Page man's not gonna come out. I can always at least try. <laughs> More than just a bloody nose, you fatty! Oh, you can't even actually say the word, and yeah, I know you won't kill me, cause you're like one of them, a hero. Uh, I hope you know that chaos only leads to more chaos, and eventually, you know what happens with chaos? Uh, uh, peace. No, it kills you. Duck! I say the Pigeon Man! No, I won't let stop go! Pigeon Man! You're back! I miss you, old dear friend. I was just talking nonsense to Regular Man. Oh, my. Why did Regular Man do this? He knows I'm afraid of you! <laughs> it's locked. It's locked. And uh, and and I said, even though it looks like it's made out of wood, it's actually made out of steel. Frick! Uh, looks like you're trapped in uh, here with me. Oh. Oh, God, I missed you, chaos making buddy! <laughs> uh, Get your hand off of me! What are you gonna do, kill me? I wasn't made for evil! 
anything but evil. I was made for marketing. No, you're. I'm just a product. I ain't evil. And you I'm were made. Uh, you were just a movie idea. Now you're just a monstrosity made for tortures. <sighs> And actually, I kind of dig it. <laughs> oh, what is it? I hope you get more than just a bloody nose. You fat A. Oh, you can't even actually say the word. And yeah, I know you won't kill me. Because you're like one of them. A hero. I hope you know that chaos only leads to more chaos. And eventually, you know what happens with chaos? Uh, peace. No, it kills you. Dutch! Dutch! I'm Sailor. Oh, you helped me up? Let me help you up. Pigeon Man? Oh man, man, you look just like your son. I Sick was water. made for marketing. I was a product of television broadcasting and something they won't see on the news Wait, is how I just murdered a man. Wait, um, uh, oh jeez. We'll deal with that later. That uh, right now is not the time. Okay, so get all the citizens out here, out of here, and I and I send them back to their homes. Why? What's going on? Uh, a lot of messed up stuff, and and then, frankly, I don't think you're ready right now. And plus, everyone needs to get out here super fast. Alrighty, guys. Go. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna see if everyone's out. <laughs> 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 I really don't want to do this. That guy's coming and I, my gun's gone. But I'll become like one of them. And they have been trying to save the day. Okay, fine. It's hero time! But the only thing, Spencer, is that it's about to go. Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, uh, Darkbird, there's gonna be a little bit of trouble because Sam and it <clears throat> escaped via exploding the house. Uh, so they so they think I did it to get rid of the evidence. I was the only person there who had motivation to kill him, really. And everyone else was gone. And uh, you went to go help your dad, right? Yeah. Well, what? Please take my role, cause they're gonna put me in prison. You're our, you're our only hope. Hello, everyone. You might have heard the news recently about how uh, someone I worked with, uh, Spencer, the detective, has been arrested. And and uh, you might be wondering my feelings about it. Well. Well, I'm not going to talk about that because what we what we plan is peace for this place, which is that's bigger than the both of us. And I think, uh, despite some of the trouble some of our members have gone through, we should still continue to to fight for peace. And 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 uh, finally, uh, give justice. That is, that is our mission for this dark world.